Uh, hi everyone, uh, it's Min again. I'm the product manager for Smart Learning Suite Online uh, at Smart. Uh, today I want to share with you some exciting news uh, about the product. Uh, we've actually integrated Smart Learning Suite Online uh, with uh, G Suite. Uh, so that's Google Drive as well as Google Classroom. And I'm going to show you how you can uh, leverage this integration to streamline your workflows with our application uh, and save yourself some time, uh, as well as achieve additional functionality within this uh, uh, Google's ecosystem. Um, so I'm going to first start in the G Suite marketplace. Uh, so in order for you to um, use this integration, uh, currently you do have to have your Google administrator install this for your school or district. Um, so the way that they would do this is by going to the G Suite marketplace and finding our Smart Learning Suite application. Um, so we created a handy little link that will take you directly to this page. Uh, and that's this link up here, smarttech.com um, dash G Suite app. And uh, Amy's also going to put it in the chat for everybody. Um, so if you are talking to your administrators about this integration, you can share that link with them and they will be able to see this page. Um, so when they go to this page, um, if you haven't installed the application, they should see a domain install button here and all they have to do is click that button to install the application for the entire school. Um, so what does that do? Well, currently when you want to use Smart Learning Suite, you have to, re have to remember the uh, web URL, suite.smarttrack.com, and go to that website to create your lessons. Um, but we know that uh, a lot of you who are Google users, uh, of course, start a lot of your workflows inside of places like Google Drive. Uh, that's where you go to create your uh, Google Docs, Google Slides, or Google Forms. Um, so by integrating or by installing that application uh, from the G Suite Marketplace, essentially uh, what you've done is uh, you've added a new entry underneath your new button for Google Drive uh, to be able to create your Smart Learning Suite uh, lessons. So if you go to the new button, uh, you'll see your Google Docs here. And if you click more, at the bottom uh, of the more list, you'll see this Smart Learning Suite uh, um, entry from the menu. And by clicking on this, what that takes you to is the ability to start to create a lesson. All right, so if you are familiar with Smart Learning Suite before, uh, you know that in the library we have that green button. Um, so you no longer have to go to suite.smarttech.com. Inside of Google Drive, you can go directly to create a lesson. Um, and this page, everyone should be familiar with. Uh, you can start with an activity or an assessment. Uh, one new button we've added is the ability to import um, lessons directly from Google Drive to use uh, as a starting point for building your lessons. So if I click on that button, it takes me to a standard uh, Google file selection uh, dialog. So for example, I can navigate through my Google Drive uh, let's see, find the PDF that I have in my Google Drive uh, and use that and upload it um, to use as my lesson for SLS Online. Uh, so while this is loading, uh, one of the things I want to highlight is that this is what this is really cool is that it actually allows you to um, save and store all of your SLS Online lessons inside of Google Drive alongside uh, your other Google documents or your teaching resources. This way you have one single location where you need to go to manage and organize your resources instead of having to jump back and forth between Google Drive or suite.smarttech.com. So here we go, we have the lesson loaded. Um, and of course you can go through this and add activity to it or convert um, the pages into activities. Uh, and when you're done, all you have to do is click finish editing. Uh, one thing I wanna highlight here that's a little bit different uh, than existing Smart Learning Suite is that when I click finish editing, it doesn't take me back to the library, uh, but instead it takes me directly into the lesson so that I can deliver it. Um, this paradigm is a little bit different because Google Drive, the way that Google Drive works is whenever you create a new resource or when you open a resource, it actually opens it in a new tab. So um, if you notice, when I created that lesson, I actually have now a new tab to work in the lesson. Um, and because your library is now Google Drive, of course, this button up here that used to take you back to the library, we've repurposed that to allow you to very quickly jump back into editing the lesson if you need to. And we've also made um, all of the features that were accessible in suite.smarttech.com available through this menu as well. So again, uh, using this new Google Drive flow, uh, you don't need to go back to suite.smarttech.com. And that's sort of our aim. So as I'm showing you the rest of the demo, you'll see that um, Everything that you can do in smarttech.com today, you can actually do it directly within Google, uh, which saves you time. Um, so when you're done with the lesson, all you have to do is just click the X button to go back to Drive. And if you look at Drive here, 
Uh, it's already updated uh, with that lesson. I just um, started to create and edit. Um, and so again, the nice thing is uh, it's in Google Drive. And if I go to that particular folder, let's see if I can navigate there. Um, might just, okay, there we go. So there's that folder. Um, and I've got my files in here. Um, what's really nice is that you, you see, right, alongside your Smart Learning Suite online lessons, you have your PDFs, your Google Docs, and your Google Slides. And of course, it behaves just like any other um, Drive lesson. So you can put this in a folder um, and uh, organize it alongside your other uh, Drive content. Uh, when you want to open a lesson, all you have to do is uh, right click and go to Open With and select Smart Learning Suite. So that's one way to do it. Uh, but of course, you know, you might be inclined to try to double click to open the lesson. Uh, unfortunately, by default, that doesn't quite open the lesson itself, but I can show you a quick tip on how to do that. So if you want to be able to double click to open your lessons, all you have to do in your Google Drive is to configure it to do so. So if you go to that little um, gear menu and go to settings, uh, manage apps, and then scroll all the way to the bottom, so you see Smart Learning Suite here. Make sure that this uh, Use by Default checkbox is checked. So once you've done that, you can then just double click your resource or your SLS Online lesson, and that will, again, open in a new tab uh, and load that lesson. So you can see with, uh, with these interactions, you can create directly in Drive, organize in Drive, uh, and you can also deliver or open in Drive as well. So it makes a, a really uh, smooth workflow if you're using SLS online lessons as well as other types of Google Docs. Um, so the next thing I wanna show you is sharing. So recently we did um, some Facebook Lives, uh, how to share uh, with other teachers and with students. Um, so you probably know that in order to do that, you will go to spree.smartrack.com and generate either a teacher link, share link, or a student share link. Um, so if you're not using sweet.smarttech.com anymore, how would you do that from Google Drive? Uh, and the good news is there's nothing new to learn here. Essentially, you can share now within Google Drive exactly the way that you share your other Google Docs. So if you wanted to share something with a student, so let's say this lesson here, uh, I can just right click on it, go to the Google Share menu, uh, and get a shareable link. By default, it's only sharing with people in my organization but of course you can select it to make it public uh, and then copy that link and then send it off to students. So that's, that's one uh, basic way to share. Or you can type in the student names uh, and they can see, uh, type in the, the students' email addresses to share with sp specific students. Uh, and I'm switching gears a little bit just to show you on the student side. Uh, so what I have here in this window is uh, the student um, Google Drive. And they should be able to, once you share that uh, lesson with them, see that lesson show up in, your sh in their shared with me menu. So here's that lesson here. Uh, and as a student, all I have to do, uh, again, once they've configured it for the double click, is just double tap to open that lesson. Uh, and now they can work and contribute, that, uh, contribute to that lesson um, outside of the classroom. So once that loads, you see the lesson here. And I can go through the lesson. For example, go to uh, page four here and resume or continue to work in activities like a workspace. Um, so that's one way to share. You can uh, alternatively also um, use that same technique for sharing to share a link to your colleagues. Um, so if the teacher uh, gets that, if a teacher gets that link, what they will essentially get is the ability to download a copy of their lesson to use for themselves. Um, so the last thing I want to show you is actually Google Classroom. So uh, sharing with your students directly may not be what you do within Google um, because I know many of you also use Google Classroom and Google Classroom is really great uh, when you want to assign work to your uh, class of students. Um, so inside of, I'm in Google Classroom right now and uh, with a typical workflow, you would go and create an assignment in Google Classroom uh, and then I am just going to type in a title here. Uh, and previously we showed you how you can uh, attach links to the assignment that you would generate from sweet.smarttech.com. 
which again, you have to go to sweet.smarttech.com to get that link. So it's not, you have to sort of context switch. But because now all of your content is in Google Drive, uh, all you have to do is just click on this Google Drive button. And you can see you get the same um, Google Drive selector and inside of it are all of your SLS lessons as well. So I mean the recents tab, so this is the one that I just worked on. I can just select it, uh, add it. Now within Google Classroom, uh, it does offer you different options for sharing. Uh, with SLS online lessons, um, these sharing permissions actually don't matter. Um, so we just recommend uh, you leave it on students can view files. It doesn't mean that students can only view. They will still be able to edit that file when you share with them. So once you're done, all you have to do is just click assign. And there's that assignment there. And if I go back to my student tab and go to the student's Google Classroom and refresh that page, you should see that assignment show up here now. And then for the students, all they have to do is just click on that link. And again, it loads the lesson, open with Smart Learning Suite. And it works essentially the same as a student share link or if you share that with the students directly. And again, they can go through the lesson, uh, continue their work uh, in the workspace uh, or finish uh, assignments. Um, so that's Google Classroom. Uh, the last tip I'll sh share with you for Google is, uh, let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, so let's say you're working inside of Google Classroom and you want to quickly create an SLS lesson. Um, you can go back to Google Drive to do that. Um, but of course, uh, within Google, you have this uh, nine squares menu, or some of you call it the waffle menu. And inside of this menu is, uh, is available in all your Google applications. So you can, uh, it's accessible anytime. So if you click on that button, uh, you see your standard uh, Google application. But if you scroll down and click more, and scroll to the bottom, uh, you'll see your classroom app, Cloud Print, and then Smart Learning Suite. So if you invoke Smart Learning Suite uh, from this menu, it also opens up the creation experience. So if you wanted to do a quick shout out, you can just use that menu, uh, open a shout it out, uh, create it, and it will actually get automatically saved to your uh, Google Drive as well. Um, so yeah, so that's a quick overview of our Google integration um, and how that works with Smart Learning Suite Online. So as you can see, even though we've gone through a lot of stuff, basically what I'm reviewing are just things that you probably already know how to do uh, within G Suite. And that's sort of the goal of this integration is to make the, those workflows align with whatever you're doing uh, already to save your time and save you, um, so you don't have to spend a lot of time learning how to use the software. Um, so yeah, so um, check out this in in integration. Have your uh, administrator go to this website uh, to install the, the application uh, and you'll be able to try out how to use Smart Learning Suite uh, inside of Google Classroom.